And today we're excited to share something new for us this year, which is um, these bare root uh, native seedlings or um, trees, I guess, and other material going to be offering and it's a great um, economical way to start some natives and um, our farmer Dave Hopi has been working on this so Dave why don't you tell us about what, sure. what you got happening. Yeah so in front of me here um, these are northern red oak seedlings that um, we started last spring um, and we grew them in this this bulb crate because it, it creates a uh, air pruning environment where unlike in a, a pot like this where there's a uh, solid plastic, the, the roots don't spiral and coil around the pot. And um, with oaks in particular, their tap root, if it spirals, they can um, they can uh, actually girdle their, their own roots. So, so we grew them deliberately in this container where that won't happen. Um, but I guess what I'm uh, getting at with the bare root stock here is that we're going to offer it this, this spring. And the way bare root stock works is you plant it as a dormant plant. For the buds break so we'll probably offer these sometime starting mid-march um, and then we'll we'll keep them in a dormant state probably till the end of may and uh, one of the advantages of planting the bare root stock is that it's significantly more economical than uh, buying buying potted plants from containers uh, some of the other bare root material we'll have available this this spring um, is apios americana um, these are the tubers. You can see they're connected by uh, um, an actual underground stem. And um, this, this whole pot, it was probably a two gallon pot, uh, was just planted with two tubers uh, last spring. And it's, you can see it's just full of these, um, these tubers. And this is an interesting, it was uh, originally domesticated by uh, Native Americans in North America. And it's, uh, it's in the bean family, but it has perennial tubers that are edible, similar to potatoes. And the other thing we're gonna offer are sunchokes. Um, so these are Helianthus tuberosus. And uh, this variety, this is a named cultivar as well, it's called Stampede. Uh, it's, it's what we grow on the farm for our farmer's markets and stuff. And uh, it's also a native the North American uh, food crop. I don't know, Kim, do you have anything to add? No, or? I mean, it's exciting because I think so many people are interested in continuing to evolve their own um, habitats and natives are a great uh, opportunity for that. And <laughs> these oaks, when I asked Dave how big they get, you know, these are trees that'll get to be over a hundred feet tall in not our lifetime, obviously, but in maybe our grandchildren's lifetime. Thank you, we're excited to be able to offer these to people and let them continue to, you know, evolve their yards, but also their food sources. Right, yeah, a lot of these plants are are both food crops for people and also wildlife habitat, or they produce, in the case of the oaks, they produce abundant acorns for wildlife. Um, the woodland sunflowers produce tiny sunflower seeds that the birds love. I see them in my backyard every fall eating sunflower seeds and, and uh, I should say too the ground nut has, has beautiful burgundy maroon flowers that are really fragrant uh, and really really nice when they're blooming in midsummer. So So your your love and uh, love of natives and is sort of opening a, a new and exciting world for all of us and you know a lot of people have been into this for a while but it's fun to be continuing to educate even ourselves about this and so thank you yep thank you